This guide shows you how you can set Windows 10 to automatically clean up after itself and keep your system clean and running at its best. Windows 10 has a function called Storage Sense, which basically does just what I just said. It cleans up the system for you, and you can set it to do that every so many days if you wish. So to go into the Storage Sense settings, then move your mouse over the Start button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen and left-click once. And then on your keyboard, type the word Storage. Then after a few seconds, under Best Match, storage settings will appear. Move your mouse over that, then left click once. Then you'll see this screen appear. Move your mouse over configure storage sense or run it now and left click once. Okay, so my storage sense is switched off and as it says, storage sense runs when disk space is low. We clean up enough space to help your system run at its best. So at the moment it's turned off I'm going to leave that turned off just for the moment because I just want to uh, to check a few settings here. So I'm going to leave this delete temporary files that my apps aren't using switched on. Now this is temporary files that your system just simply doesn't need to keep hold of, hence the name temporary files. So they're usually files that are left over when programs run or update themselves and the programs or Windows haven't cleared them away properly. So this will get rid of most of them. It also says here, it gives me the option to delete files in my recycle bin if they've been there for over a certain amount of days, like 30 days. But you can click on this drop down and you can select never, one day, 14 days, 30 days or 60 days. So I'm going to leave it at 30 days. So if a file has been in my recycle bin for more than 30 days, then Storage Sense will automatically delete that for me to keep the recycle bin size down. It also gives me an option to delete files in my downloads folder if they haven't been opened for more than so many days. So I can click on this drop down here and I can say never, which means it will never delete anything from my downloads folder. Or if, if a file hasn't been deleted for one, uh, opened for one day or 14 days or 30 days or 60 days, I can select that option in there. And there you go. At the moment, I've set it so that it will delete files in my downloads folder if I haven't been open for more than 30 days. But I'll be honest with you, I'm gonna click on that drop down. I'm gonna say never to that because there are some files that are in my downloads folder that have been in there a long time that really I do wanna keep. So I'd rather manually control my downloads folder. So let's just turn Storage Sense on, okay? So it's asking me now, when do I wanna run Storage Sense? So at the moment it's set to during low free disk space. So when my disk gets low on space, it'll do it. Or I can say, set it to run every day, every week, or every month. Now I'm gonna set it to run every month. So Storage Sense is turned on, it's gonna run every month, it's gonna delete my temporary files from my apps that my apps aren't using every month, and it's gonna delete files in my recycle bin if they've been in there for more than 30 days. It's also not gonna delete any files from my downloads folder, so I'll just leave that as is. So there you go, that guide showed you how to let Windows clean itself up every so often for you to keep your system running at its best. I hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech, that's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel, just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.